All right, so big news uh, earlier this morning about uh, NASCAR legend Jimmy Johnson. Uh, he announced that he would be retiring from full-time driving in NASCAR. And, um, wow, just very sad to see. Uh, of all drivers on the grid, Jimmy was probably the one I, I respected most. And, uh, you know, I don't really, like, root for him in races. He's not really up there on my, uh, on my um, you know, drivers that I like list. But he's really just a very easy to respect to kind of driver and um you know, he's, you know, he's just a great driver, and he's very humble in his interviews, you know, uh, I remember in, uh, in 2019, earlier this year, the Daytona 500, he was in an interview with Jeff Gordon, and he just, uh, it was one of the best interviews I've seen, it was just, he was very humble, and, and you know, he was coming off his, uh, win at the Clash, and, um, you know, I feel like this year, he's been, um, definitely better than he was last year, you know, he's had some breakout performances, like, uh, Texas earlier this year, he, he could have won. Uh, he came out with like a fourth or fifth place finish. He was up there with Logano and Elliott for most of the day. Really could have won that race, I think. And, um, you know, we, yeah, Kansas, he got like a seventh or eighth place finish, and he was up there running up front for most of the day. And, uh, you know, he, he just had some great performances this season, but he hasn't been able to put those great performances together and start being a, a consistent threat uh, each weekend. He's, you know... He's a great driver and all, but if you can't put together great weekends, um, you know, in an entire uh, season of, you know, 36 races, that's a while. So you need to make sure that you're strong in each race. And if you, if you don't have top 12, top 14 speed in every race of the season, then you probably can't expect to be the championship favorite. And that's something that Jimmy used to do back when he was winning championships, you know, from 2006 to 2010. Um you know, won five consecutive championships and then won another in 2013 and then another in uh, 2016. So he's just he's just a very good driver, a very solid driver, but he's going to have to, next season, he's going to have to show that he can still be a championship caliber driver. And the best way to do that is to start winning. He, you know, he hasn't won a points race since 2017 at Dover. And, you know, people say, oh, he won the clash. But, I mean, that first off, rain shortened race, second off, restrictor plate race, and third off, a non-points event. So he has to prove that he can win a points uh, a points race uh, before he can start thinking about going out there and winning an eighth championship. So I'm going to start uh, talking about my predictions for 2020 with Jimmy Johnson. Um, you know, I, I, I'm hoping that he can go out there and have a very good season and possibly get an eighth championship. Um, I, I just don't see it happening, though. I think... I think it's he's going to need a few more seasons uh, to, to, to get back up into championship contention. Problem is, he doesn't have, he only has one season. He doesn't have that much season. So I, this is going to be, um, you know, a big, a big uh, testing point for Jimmy. We, can he go out there in his final season and win an eighth championship? It'll, it'll really be interesting to see. And um, I'm going to be very interested to see what he can do throughout the season and I, I especially want to see what uh, what he can do at some tracks like Dover and Martinsville, Texas. Because uh, last, uh, this season, I guess you could say last season or this season, I don't know. Uh, he, you know, he ran good at those tracks. Uh, at least at some of them, you know, got top 12, top 10 performances uh, in terms of speed. Uh, but those are kind of going to be the test. If he can start winning at tracks like that, then maybe he can start thinking about having good speed at other tracks and then ultimately may maybe put together a playoff run. And from there, we know how good Jimmy can do in the playoffs. You know, he in uh, 2016, entering the playoffs, a lot of people had him going out in the second round and uh, even the first round for some. But uh, he, he, he really steps his up, up his performance in the playoffs. Uh, you know, this season he didn't make the playoffs. And he, ha he had a decent playoff run, actually. So I think if he did make it, he could have maybe thought about getting a deep run in the playoffs. But... Um, you know, if, if next season he can get into the playoffs, he could be, uh, my dark horse pick, uh, to, to, to make it to that championship for, and ultimately, uh, capture a championship, so, I don't know, we'll see what happens, it's gonna be a very interesting season for Jimmy, um, and what a story it would be if he could go out with an eighth championship, so, or an eighth championship, so, this is my, uh, my first, uh, Let's Talk Racing video that was just, like, not not by usually I make scripts before I make the videos, but this one I was just talking openly about it. So tell me in the comments which one you'd like better, um, the script or me talking openly. And um, 
make sure to vote in the poll at the top right of your screen uh, if you think Jimmy Johnson uh, can, can compete for an eighth championship next year, or maybe he won't. So uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Good ball.